I'm going to show you two ways to password protect any file or folder on your Mac. And for me, I wanted to protect this secret folder on my desktop, which has a few private pictures, my passwords, and some other sensitive stuff. The first way creates a zip file that is also compatible with Windows and Linux, but a listing of file and folder names can be seen. And the second option creates a DMG file that will only work with Mac, but all file and folder names are hidden. I'll walk you through password protecting each way, and let's start out with zip. Open up a terminal window. I'm going to go to my desktop and then type the following command. zip-e for encrypt, r for recursive, the name of the output file .zip, then type the folder that you want to protect. I recommend appending a slash asterisk to explicitly specify the contents of the folder, but this is optional. Finally, hit enter and type a password. I highly, highly recommend that you choose a long, strong password here because there are tools like John the Ripper that can easily figure out short, guessable passwords. Go ahead and confirm the password that you just typed, and then you'll see the zip file get created. I'm going to delete the original directory, and if I try to open the file, I'll be prompted for a password. Only with the correct password will the file contents be extracted. Opening the same file on Windows also prompts for a password, but notice how the file and folder names are visible. Examining the contents of the zip file on Mac and Linux also exposes the file and folder names. So if that's a problem for you, you can try to zip the zip file, or perhaps a better way is to create an encrypted DMG file, which I'll show you how to do next. Open up the Disk Utility app and go to File, New Image, Image from Folder, and select the folder that you want to protect with a password. Click Choose and either pick 128 or 256 bit encryption. Type in a password, verify it, and then click on choose. As I stated before, I really, really recommend a strong, long password here. Finally, click on save, and a few moments later, depending on the size of your files, an encrypted, password-protected DMG file will be created for you. We can close out of Disk Utility now and get rid of the original folder, and when you open the DMG file, you'll be prompted for a password. Only when you provide the correct password will you see the files mounted, which have been decrypted and are now accessible. When you're done with these files, be sure to eject the volume to prevent unauthorized access. I personally use macOS every single day, and if you do too, you might be interested in some of my other Mac videos over here. So check them out, subscribe, and I'll see you over there.